In the strength room, almost everyone fears and avoids the barbell squat. Few attempt half squats for the ego. In this video, we will dismantle the split squat as the one and only exercise you have to master to start loving the full range barbell back squat. The split squat is the most essential lower body exercise and the only exercise you can't bypass if you would like to squat as to grasp for better overall strength, hip, knee and ankle mobility. Enough said, let's get to the meat and nuts. So with the split squats, we have different variations. Variation number one is front foot elevated, the easiest. Typically, starting with the front foot elevated is a good way to go with split squats. This helps to minimize the active range of motion, which makes the exercise easier to perform while gently loading the end range of motion and getting a great stretch for the hip, knee and ankles. The height at which the front foot is elevated can be adjusted based on the person's mobility and strength. Normally, the lower to the floor you are, the more challenging it will become. If ankle mobility is still a limiting factor, then we can further elevate the front heel to allow for more depth in the squat. The goal should be to drive the knee forward over the toes with a slow control tempo while keeping the torso relatively upright, eventually trying to get the hamstring to cover the most of the calf muscle on the front leg. Try to imagine you are going down an escalator. You can even use a low pulley with a handle to reinforce this idea at first. Once you are able to complete 10 repetitions or more on each leg with a good form, then you can potentially add dumbbells or barbell to increase the difficulty. Variation number two, both feet are on the floor. If you are able to do split squat, with good form, with the front foot elevated, then you can progress to performing them with both feet level on the floor. The technique should remain the same. However, this will provide more of a mobility challenge on the hips and ankles compared to with the front foot elevated version. If ankle mobility is still a limiting factor, then you can still elevate the heel, the front heel, to allow for more depth in the squat. Again, here you can eventually add dumbbells, or barbells to increase the difficulty once you are able to complete 10 repetitions or more with good form. Now to the last variation, rear foot elevated. Eventually, once you have mastered split squats, you can move on to elevating the rear leg. This variation is the most difficult of the ones mentioned so far as it places even more stretch on the hip flexors and requires more balance to perform effectively. Again, the technique will remain the same as the previous variations and load can be aided once you are able to complete 10 repetitions or more with good form. Now, let's go through special progressive techniques which we like for even better strength gains, control and hypertrophy response. So here typically we use quarters and one or one and quarters or the double barrel for faster strength gains and better movement control. Isometric poses for longer time and attention and optimize hypertrophy response or lengthen eccentrics for varied stimulus and better control. Those techniques will allow you to have full movement control and comfort, especially when practicing a hobby sport like golf, tennis, etc. You will have noticeable performance gain and enjoy your game more. If you master this split squat using the progressions given above, you will feel much safe and comfortable to attempt the barbell squat. If you like this content, then we have plenty more on our channel. So please like and subscribe to see more of our content in the future. Thank you very much and enjoy your squad.